वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम तोनू एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल मिनिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे आई शैल एक्सप्लेन अ फेमस रिएक्शन दैट इज जूलिया ऑलिफिकेशन एंड दिस रिएक्शन एक्चुअली सल्फर स्टेबलाइज्ड कार्बन दिस प्रोसेस थ्रू लाइक इन केस ऑफ वीटी हॉर्नर इट गोस थ्रू फास्फोरस स्टेबलाइज्ड इट इज लाइक सल्फर स्टेबलाइज्ड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो टुडे फर्स्ट आई शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक अबाउट जूलिया ऑलिफिकेशन फर्स्ट With mechanism, everything, and first advantage versus disadvantage. Okay, advantage versus disadvantage, and secondly, I shall explain about the modification and with mechanism. Okay, so let's start. So this reaction actually reaction between a carbon ion and an aldehyde or ketone, whatever, to produce final. E alkyl or trans alkyl selectively. Okay, let's start. So before going to details, let me give you some. Actually, it's a sulfur stabilized elides. So means this one. So how it produces corresponding sulfonate. Okay. So how this is prepared? This is prepared by oxidation of corresponding thioether. One strategy. Second strategy is Friedel-Crafts acylation type reaction using this this uh, phenyl sulfonyl chloride or sulfonyl anhydride which actually produces this cation okay and this undergo friedel-crafts acylation to produce this final product okay and this is utilized in case of julia alkenation and the anion is generated in presence of a strong base strong base like butyl lithium okay and this alpha position alpha proton is abstract why because this carbon ion is resonance stabilized resonance stabilized with the conjugation of this sulfur oxygen bond how this and this so in this way here possible another here also possible so two conjugation structure possible and what happens this carbon ion act, act as a nucleophile okay and attack this carbonyl carbon which is an electrophile and produces this beta hydroxy Sulfur and carbon. Okay, so this and generally we have observed that generally we do protonation, but here we are not going to do protonation. We are going to do an acylation of this O minus. How this O minus will react this electrophilic center that is acyl chloride. Okay, acyl chloride it reacts and produces this star. Okay, acyl could be this could be benzyl chloride, this could be acetyl chloride, anything. Final. So this ester is produced, and this is treated with sodium amide. Okay, it's actually a relatively mild reducing agent compared to the sodium itself. Okay, so what happens? It gives one electron. It gives one electron to produce this sodium plus. So this is the main base. and generally it's my opinion it is better not to use any amalgam in reaction if you have any alternative because mercury is a toxic material and we are now it is is very conscious about environment if we don't save our environment our generation means us and our future generation will be in big big trouble so whenever we do anything it is essential to keep it in mind whether this process of this reaction is helpful or harmful for the environment if it is harmful then you should take proper precaution and disposal of the product because our target is to prepare alkene whatever the market you have to think about it carefully proper disposal otherwise it will result in a disaster of this planet okay let's start so what happened one electron and if one electron is given this electron goes to this bond okay and the if this bond electron goes to this bond this bond cleaves and produces a radical here and another thing an ion here okay and actually here sulfur is reduced because this bond takes electron means take electron it takes sulfur and this o bond one aso bond breaks and produce aso single fine now this radical this radical is produced this radical takes one another electron to produce this anion from this sodium double bond and this anion 
attacks this carbon and it leaves to produce this ER trans. Now the question, how it could produce ER trans is maybe possible? Okay. Let me give you the answer is based on Newman projection formula. How? If we consider the back, this carbon is in back side. Okay. So, back side means this is, this is single. This uh, H and R. And front carbon have four. So, this, let's consider this is, uh, this is hydrogen. This is R1. And, sorry. This is hydrogen, this is R1. And this is CO, O, C, O, R. Actually, this, car, this group is a good leading group. Why? Because this is like this. For example, if you take the acetyl, so what happens? If it leaves, it produces negative charge here. That negative charge is resonance stabilized, means delocalized here. So the anion leaving group is stable. Consequently, it leaves efficiently. Now, question. If this electron is first is radical, it can't break. After that, when another electron is taken, means this is so this undergo this undergo trans orientation. Why? Because in this trans orientation, it can react with the sigma star of this bond. Means this 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 bond this bond sigma star. So what happens? Sigma star looks like this. This is the plus minus plus minus and sigma star is vacant. So this electron pair is donated to sigma star. Consequently, this bond is broken. And here the geometry is in trans because these this anion, this actually this is the E1 C B pathway. Okay. This anion is generated elimination. So conjugate base is responsible for this elimination. So this donates electron and it leaves and effectually it is produced trans. Okay. So now as we told, we will discuss about the disadvantage. What is the disadvantage of this process? And later on, the modification. First one. It's not one port. Not one port. Okay. So what is the second disadvantage? Second disadvantage is since it is not one, no multiple steps needed. Actually, this step is one assignation. This is Assignation and actually you keep it in mind multiple steps means the loss of reagent loss of overall end not a particular step if overall reaction ill reduces okay so the question is it possible to avoid this uh, limitation and produce a more effective reaction let's continue the modification so this is the Julia olefination modification so what we have achieved we made this reaction one port okay one port reaction so here for that this sulfa thiazole is ben sulfa thiazole benz means due to this spinel group and this is sulfa thiazole so actually this uh, okay this thiazole what happens how this material is prepared actually this material is prepared from corresponding the parent thiazole moiety okay this hydrogen is fairly acidic that it could be abstracted in presence of any strong base like LDA, this thing. So, to produce this carbon ion here. Okay. This will go and produce carbon ion. That carbon ion will react with, for example, here we can say R1CH2, R1CH, SOCl. In this way, such type of reaction could be achieved. Okay. Fine. So, this is a one port reaction. This what happens after in presence of LDA, which is a bulky base but non nucleophilic. So, nucleophilic attack on this center not possible, nucleophilic attack on this center not possible. We have to keep this fact in mind. It will produce selectively high obstructing this position hydrogen to produce carbon ion here. And this carbon ion will attack here to produce this beta means oxo actually it is an alkoxy salt. So, this. And what happens, the corresponding, since we have used LDA, lithium diisopropyl, so always lithium will be there. And lithium is a very good thing for corchylation or bone formation with oxygen because of similar kind of size. Consequently, this attacks here. As I told, this center is also nucleophilic. So, this bond opens up. So, ultimately, what is produced? This. And 
Here you can see the negative charge comes on nitrogen after this nucleophilic attack. So if this negative charge comes on nitrogen, the nitrogen is now electron rich and what happens? This nitrogen further push back its electron and this bond is open. This bond is open and actually this is a reduction at the sulfur center. Okay, reduction you can see, this it is reduced previously 4 with oxygen, 2 with carbon, right now it's actually 4, it's reduction happens. Okay, so this O minus and in this way this bond is open. Fine. Now, there may be a question, how it is producing selectively trans? Because we can see it's a ring right now. So, it is similar and actually I suggest you people, after this ring opening, prefer to write as the ring was. It will reduce the chance of doing mistake. Because you have to count how many carbon where should be. So, initial write as it is. So, break the bond which is gone. So, this is and right now you can see, this is produced. Now, we need to rewrite this thing again. If we rewrite, no, so let's write this part as a as a Rx. So what happened? Rx, then Rx here CH2, one carbon, another carbon, it contains R2. Another carbon, it contains R1, another is SO2 minus and lithium. Now question why they will go? Because the bulkness of this two will prefer to have the uh, geometry of trans. Second point. Actually it is also a ion CD type. What happens? This oxygen pushes its electron. This comes here. Consequently this comes here. So I made a mistake here. Okay. What mistake? This is an oxygen attached. So it should be oxygen. Okay, so this is, so here also it is oxygen, actually it is oxygen. So, this is, so it attacks here and the negative charge is comes on oxygen. So, what it produces? It produces this O minus Li plus. And here, you can see, if this SO2 eliminates, it will generate a carbon ion here. That carbon ion will push its electron density, it will be. As like previous, you can see, this oxygen, this negative charge is resonance stabilized using this ring. So this is stable, it's a good living group like acetate or benzoate. Fine. Second, sulfur dioxide is going outside as a gas. So another driving force for this and actually here carbon ion is produced and as I told in the previous part that it will go anti-orientation uh, anti, uh, such that this lone pair could be delocalized as sigma star of this bond and finally it will produce in this way, this is E or trans. So, what is the advantage? Advantage is use, use of this one instead of phenyl. Actually, we have replaced this by phenyl which don't need it. The addition of that is RCOCl to make the O- as a good living group as O- attacks here and in this way the whole reaction proceeds. So, this is Julia, Julia modification which is useful for preparation of some useful chemical. Let's discuss about the example. Example means the preparation of a petrostyl vintel derivative. Okay. And among all Zwittig, Horner, others, this method is this method of preparation of this trans double bond is more important. Why? Because here the product yield and means it's a completely one state reaction. So what happened? This this reagent, this OME, this is everything I have explained. This portion is anion is produces using a strong base like lithium HMDS. Previously, I have explained about uh, LDF, which is lithium diisopropyl amine. It's a bulky base. Compared to this, this lithium HMDS is further bulky. Means this nitrogen is attached to di this hexamethyl silyl this thing this is lithium actually it depends in dynamic form this is the actual base so you can see this is further more bulky so more selective another thing it's a strong base to abstract the proton from here personally i have used this base and this reaction is very so reactive and handled with care and every reaction is done under argon environment means every solvent reaction it all this must be dry Otherwise, it will abstract proton from there. And second step is 
this K2CF3 methanol. So what about this abstract base and another thing, it goes and attack this carbon. So after that, as I explained, everything is made, procedure follows same and ultimately it produces this. This second step is the hydrolysis of this OAC to produce OH. Okay, so in this way, this is another thing, such type of chemical has an important thing. You can see lots of hydroxyl groups are there. One thing, another, so it could be used as a means uh, redox inhibitor type, and even actually it is a phytoalexins, means it's the infection against infection fighting material in plants, and second, it could be used as an anti-diabetic, but study is limited. So in this way, Julia Olfination produces some useful chemical also. Okay, fine. So this is the end of this discussion. In next video, I will say another modification about Julia, Julia reaction, means further modification. So this is the end of this reaction. If you like my teaching, please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And finally, subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule, and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So see you in my next video.